careful speed. I hope this doesn't sound like the bra- like bragging. Um, I try not to make it sound like that. But I think one of the reasons why I'm quite successful is because I'm extremely careful. I'm on the cautious side. I'm very organized and, and, and uh, document everything well. But I'm also quick. So let me explain that paradox and how I try to do it and how I've seen other, a lot of other successful people do it as well. Stephen Covey has a famous book, The Speed of Trust. What happens is most large organizations become very bureaucratic because they don't have a lot of trust, so they have to force you to follow you know, 20 different rules, get 20 different signatures. You know, Elon Musk break, break, broke that down. He said that anybody will be fired you know, if they go to a meeting, stay in a meeting that uh, you know, they're not contributing to. I mean, I'm kind of paraphrasing a little bit. You know, if there's a boss that just has a fiefdom and doesn't share information, he says anybody in the company can talk to anybody, including him. I mean, what happens is a lot of effort is just wasted in politics. Like people want to put on a show, it's called uh, posturing or it's called signaling uh, that, you know, yeah, I'm so great. I have all this power and everything else. But the real successful people, and I, I would never, ever, ever have a thousand of the success of Elon Musk, I don't believe probably. I mean, you never know, but anything's possible. But, um, you know, they just are, are so solution-focused, so solution-focused. So you have to trust people, but you have to hold people accountable. It's like I watched a master class by Bob Iger. He said he always gives people second chances unless it's a, unless it's a serious uh, error in judgment or character. Like if it's an honest mistake, then, yeah, you have to give people a culture where, you know, we're going to make a lot of honest mistakes because we're going to try things. Like there's a famous saying that, you know, if you never fail, that you're not, you're not trying enough. You know, you, you, or you're trying too small. Some people accomplish all their goals, but the goals are so small that it doesn't mean anything. So if you're not like excited, there's another saying that says if you're not a little bit scared by your goals, then you, your goals are too small. You know, it takes a team. A lot of people want to micromanage everything and do everything themselves. Like I used to be like that, and then I realized that I wasn't getting as much done. And even if other people make a little bit of mistakes here and there, if they really have good hearts, if I've hired the right people, and if I have a good relationship with them, we can process it. You know, and people learn, you know, and, and, and sometimes people do a better job than what you expect, even even though I expect a lot to begin with. So now on the opposite side of the coin, you have to be very careful, you know, because most, a lot of people, the world is competitive and a lot of people just, you know, try something without doing their homework. You know, like a lot of people buy a stock if they just read an article about it or if they heard something on Twitter or whatever, but you have to really be, be more, there's a famous saying that says, a guy says a, a, a bear is chasing two people out of the woods, you know, and they're afraid they're going to get eaten. And uh, one guy stops to to to, to uh, put on his running sneakers. And the other guy looks at him in amazement. And he says, you know, that's crazy. You know, you're going to get eaten by the bear. You can't you can't outrun your, the bear even with uh, out even with running sneakers. And the guy says, I know. He says, I don't have to outrun, outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. So, you know, life is very competitive. Like you have to do better research. You have to you have to be more knowledgeable than the next person. That's why they say there's smart money and there's dumb money. It's not like really a criticism, you know, or an insult. It's just the fact that some people have done a lot more homework. You know, they say the future is even uh, the future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed. You know, there's some people that are much more knowledgeable. That's why I've spent so many podcasts and so many countless hours talking about and doing, you know, informational networks. It's the key to like being extremely well informed quickly. You know, you have to know about hiring. You have to know about product development. There's a lot of things that you have to study up and know and learn and mindset. I mean, there's there's just so many. So if you want to be very successful in my experience, um, you know, it's a combination of fast, trust, and also, uh, you know, uh, careful. So one way of saying that is the famous saying, like, trust but verify.